My name is Claudia Muniz. I'm with eXp Realty. And today we are talking to Brittany Fadoon from Elite Fitness Alliance. Um, hey, Brittany, how's it going? Hey, Claudia. Good. How are you? Awesome. Awesome. So, Brittany, um, tell us a little bit about your business, where you're located, and what your non-COVID hours of operation are. <laughs> oh, sure, sure. So, um, as Claudia mentioned, I'm Brittany Fadoon, Elite Fitness Alliance. I am normally located uh, at 11 Hearts Lane in East Brunswick, New Jersey. Um, I just actually opened up in early January. So I started business about, you know, three, four months ago about, and then a couple weeks, you know, a month or so ago, I, uh, you know, got the news that I had to shut the doors. So normally my business hours are Monday through Friday. I have sessions at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., and I also have night sessions uh, at 6 and 7 p.m., and I have Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. as well. So during COVID, um, because I can't physically be open, I did actually have to pivot a little bit and create an online remote app. So I am using an app for some of my members where they can get a membership and they have access to daily workouts. Um, and so they can do those workouts on their own time whenever they, you know, whenever they're comfortable. Um, otherwise, I am also hosting Zoom sessions. So a lot of my other clients, they want to see me, they want to be there with the group still, they want to follow along to something. And so I host Zoom workouts three times a week now. Um, I do it actually from my studio. So that way, you know, you can kind of have the feel a little bit, um, but I'm the only one there. And that is Monday at 6 p.m., Wednesday at 6 p.m., and Saturday at 8 a.m. And we do a combination of strength training and endurance training. So I do require everybody to have a mat and a pair of dumbbells or something weighted that they can use in their, in their workout at home. Um, I try not to go too crazy with equipment and we get really creative. So, you know, if you have a couple of things at home that you can use, that's great. Um, but otherwise we do a lot of body weight work and, um, you know, really simple but effective exercises for strength training. Yeah, that's awesome. And it's awesome that you've taken the steps you needed to take in order to adjust during this period, but still provide people with the value that they need so as not to catch the COVID-15, if you will. <laughs> right. That's awesome. So. Uh, I know you and I talked a little bit about the way you run your business, and I, I just absolutely love this because, you know, with a smaller boutique type gym, you're able to get a more tailored experience and, and actually help achieve your goals faster. So tell us a little bit about, you know, what you do to tailor the experience for your clients. Sure. Yeah. So um, in the beginning, I like to have everybody come in for kind of like a mini consultation. Um, so uh, before they sign up as a member or when they're signing up as a member, we sit down and I just get a really good idea of what kind of um, goals that they have and you know what they want to do, what they've done in the past. Um, I get an understanding of their health background, their physical fitness background, and we kind of make a plan from there. So not everybody comes in and says, I want to lose 30 pounds. You know, some people, they come in and they say, well, you know, I want to train to run a marathon or I want to keep up with my kids. Um, you know, I just want to get a little bit leaner or a little bit stronger. So everybody kind of has a different goal and it's not always just to lose weight. Um, so we kind of have to take a different approach with everybody where, you know, it comes in from diet and exercise. So some people are a little more interested in the strength training classes. Some are more interested in the endurance classes. Um, and they might see my program as a supplement in some ways, because I have people come in who are runners that run marathons and they just need to keep up with their endurance. They don't need to get you know, big and, and bulky um, because they need to stay slim and, and lean for running, but we can still offer them you know, that, that supplemental workout in addition to their, their running schedule. Um, but yeah, we do everything. We do the measurements. Um, I, I like to take the weight, the body fat. Uh, we take the measurements you know, for men, women. We, we do chest, the waist, um, hips, arms, legs, and we keep track of that. So, probably about every six weeks or so, we you know, do a remeasurement just to see where everybody is. And again, it's not necessarily, oh, I wanna get smaller. You know, for some people it could be, I wanna get bigger. Um, you know, I want bigger biceps, I want bigger quads, you know, whatever that goal is, um, we have to keep track of everything so that we know that we're headed in the right direction. And you know, I do have some that get caught up with the scale and you know, every time they walk in my door, they're jumping on the scale and I tell them like, you know, hold up, that's, that's not the only measure, right? We can, uh, we, can, we can take pictures and, you know, see how your clothes are feeling. And, um, you know, I always say to take progress pics, right? Like 
every few weeks, take a picture of your body. If you're not comfortable here, do it at home in front of the mirror, in your you know, bathing suit, in your underwear, whatever. But just so that you're going to see the changes that your body is going through, because you know, as you're going through the process, like exercise is hard, you know, eating right can be hard sometimes. You're gonna want to see those results. And you know, just stepping on a scale, you might not actually experience it. Whereas if you're looking at pictures or getting your measurements done, you'll see, you know, the results are coming. It might not just be a number dropping on the scale. So, um, you know, I like to tell them that there's different ways to, to note their progress. And, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of the times they do, they walk in and they're like, oh, you know, I wore these pants that haven't fit me in five years, or I, you know, I did drop that last couple pounds, or I noticed I'm stronger or I'm running faster. And, you know, that's, that's it, right? That's the goal. My goal is to help you get there. So um, that's, and that's the fun part of all of it, right? Is, is seeing people achieve their goals and, you know, feeling better and, and more confident about themselves. Absolutely. And I love a, a bunch of things that you just said. First of all, everybody's different. Everybody's got different goals. So it's not a one size fits all solution, not to <laughs> be punny, but, um, you know, and not everybody wants the same thing. So it's great that you have a multitude of solutions for mm -hmm. each different goal. Um, yeah. The other thing I liked that you said was, you know, you take the measurements and there's non-scale victories at, mm -hmm. in addition to scale victories. So, you know, it's, it's really important and it's really awesome that you take those measures um, for people so they can see their progress. Because I know if I'm not seeing results from what I'm doing, I'm changing, right. changing my approach. So that's, that's huge. Um, I actually do have a, um, a client right now too that I just started, you know, during this time period, he reached out to me and he was like, you know, I know I can't be there with you. I know I'm not going to always be able to make every workout, but I need to, I need accountability. I need to check in with you. So I actually set up like a consultation membership for him. And so what we do is we check in once a week. I give him workouts to do. Um, you know, he gives me access to his food diary. So I kind of check in on him and I can see what he's eating. Um, and I actually, in our first consult, we did it via Zoom, just like this. And I told him, bring a tape measure. I said, bring your scale and bring a tape measure. I'm going to show you how to measure yourself. That way you get the same, you know, treatment as somebody who was walking in my door in like a normal setting, right? And, you know, we're going we're gonna to track your progress the same way. It's, you know, you're just going to do it at home from your apartment. And, you know, I'll watch you and I'll show you what you need to do. But we'll still be able to track your progress. So, um, yeah, it's different because I'm not, you know, sitting there with them doing it for them, but now I'm showing them how to do it and so that they can keep track and, you know, the accountability, I think, really helps people at this time, too, to have somebody to, to check in with and to feel responsible to. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing more of that as well, if anybody needs it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, accountability is huge to help you get your goals because if nobody's watching you it's easy to slack off and eat yeah. that bag of chips and stuff like that so that's great it's great you're doing a great job um so uh real quick if anybody's interested in dropping in on one of britney's zoom classes just mention this video and we'll get you signed up there give it a shot if you're not Absolutely. quite ready to jump into class we also have a um free youtube video which i'll put the, the link in the description here that way you can check it out, get a feel for how the workouts are run um, from warm up to cool down. So um, yeah, anything else you'd like to add about that? No, I mean, I, I hope people are staying happy and healthy and safe at this time. And, you know, movement is so important and eating right is so important, especially now, because I know we're not like getting out and doing the normal things that we do. So if anybody has any questions whatsoever, or just, you know, needs a little bit of help with something, you know, feel free to reach out. They can call me, email me. You can put my information in the, um, in the comments if you want. And, you know, I'd be glad to help them out because I know it's hard. Sometimes it's even hard for me. So, you know, I can imagine with all this extra stress that's strapped onto everybody, you know, you might just need somebody to talk to or, you know, somebody to motivate you. And I would love to do that. So I know. my Fitbit's always yelling at me. It's like, go walk. <laughs> so you're absolutely right about that. All right. Well, thank you, Brittany. I appreciate you being on with me today. And um, hopefully, you know, you'll see some new people getting motivated and, and getting fit during this time. I hope so. Thanks, Claudia. Absolutely. Talk to you soon. All righty. Bye.